the American Solar Eclipse of 2017. An event to enjoy, an occasion to reflect. On August 21, 2017, a total solar eclipse lasting two hours will sweep across the United States from coast to coast. This spectacular event will prove a unique opportunity for all, a subject of scientific investigation, and for many, a moment to reflect upon its spiritual meaning for the nation. Stop this video clip at a location of interest and gather time and duration data at lower left. If you come to Oregon to view this eclipse, you will find me amongst many amateur scientists filming it for myself and my posterity. Whilst eclipses occur somewhere nearly every day, Jesus said that such events would intensify towards the end of the age preceding his return. Nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be great earthquakes and in various places famines and pestilences. And there will be terrors and great signs from heaven. And there will be signs in sun and moon and stars. And on the earth distress of nations in perplexity because of the roaring of the sea and the waves. Daytime, August 21st, 2017, corresponds to the biblical date of Av 29th, 5777 since Adam. The 29th of Av was the date on which the prophet Moses met with the Lord a second time to inscribe the Biblical Ten Commandments on stone tablets. The people of Israel had violated the Ten Commandments, leading to judgment and punishment. But now they were to have a second chance to obey God's instructions and experience peace with prosperity. The United States has broken all of God's laws by its endless wars, perverted sex, financial fraud, false religions, millions of abortions, marriages against nature, drug abuse, racial slander, prostitution, love of violence, imprisonment for profit, and much more unless Americans repent on a massive scale and make radical changes at every level of their society, the coming eclipse will prove a harbinger of catastrophes to follow. The path of this eclipse passes over several natural structures that scientists have warned us will eventually cause immense catastrophes. The Cascadia subduction zone poses a risk of earthquakes followed by sea surges that would wipe out coastal cities and flood major cities in river valleys. That could trigger in turn major earthquakes along the San Andreas Fault, destroying major cities, putting millions of lives at risk. The Yellowstone supervolcano remains poised for a terrific explosion that would kill all life across a vast zone, covering even wider areas in volcanic ash, leading to shortened growing seasons worldwide. The New Madrid Fault has caused super-earthquakes in past centuries and will likely do so again, triggering similar activity in connected fault lines along the eastern states.